guys, Moose Gaming here, and today we're gonna play some Minecraft. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to build a hidden staircase. So, without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay guys, so before I start talking about uh, the staircase, I'm gonna uh, inform you that this video will be divided in three parts. There is the part where I show you the hidden staircase, its features. The second part is when I actually build the staircase, show you how to build it. And the third part is showing you guys how to hook up the staircase to some hidden inputs like the redstone torch key that I showcased in a previous video. Okay, so to start things off with part one, the showcase, I'm going to just show you that these blocks, these iron blocks, are the blocks that will actually retract. The, these other blocks are the part of your floor, are the thing that you're going to place this staircase in. So if you would have this in a floor with wooden planks as the floor, and you would fill in this with wooden planks, not counting the input, which is now a button, you would not see the staircase. So when I press the button, this retracts, I can go down, and yeah, that's your staircase. This is the redstone behind this. This is actually, I think, one of the second or third um, designs that I made. And the first design was actually non-expandable, which means that the staircase went down like this, but then you couldn't... Uh, expand it here you, it, it needed to go straight for a couple of blocks i made a design that is expandable and if you don't know what that means that basically means that this staircase is expandable you can expand it for how long you want in terms of showcasing the build i think that's it so let's get straight into building it to start things off you take I'm gonna go up six blocks, so one, two, three, four, five, six, and the seven blocks will be our platform. That is just because we need to fit the rest on under it. And those six blocks basically mean that if you would want to put this in the ground, which I suppose you would, you need to dig down uh, six blocks and then you will fit all of the rest. Okay, so this is our platform here. We're gonna, it's three wide and seven long, sorry. One, four, five, six, seven. Oh, why did I make it too long again? Yes, too long. It should be like this. Is that seven? One, two, three, four. Oh my god, that's sick. Anyways, you need to make this three wide and six long with three blocks of. Uh, empty here we start with the rest so we place a button here for our activation we i'll show you how to change the activation later so now you place a sticky piston here under the sticky piston we will need a slime block here we place an observer facing this way uh, which is stuck to the slime block we place a sticky piston facing upwards the, so the observer will fire into the sticky piston you can already place your block here because it doesn't matter uh, under the sticky piston we place a redstone block and this will basically uh, activate the rest of the system because this is just a part of it we need to cover up those two blocks too so now you're gonna place three glass blocks here and this is really important. Uh, every other block in which you place the redstone is not important. It can be whatever you want. But this block here needs to be glass because glass is a transparent block, so it won't butt power any pistons, which will be important later in the build. So now we're gonna start things off with the um, double piston extender so you're gonna place a redstone lamp here and observer facing this way with the like redstone firing on the side and now we put on top of this observer we stack two uh, observers on top of each other and a block on the top here the two sticky pistons will be here and a block here for the that you will 
put extract up there okay so this is that means we are almost down we have two blocks uh, retracted here we just need this last one which involves the pop out piston as i like to call it so to start things off you place a sticky piston here you need to go one block down place an observer with the redstone -y thingy that fires the redstone signal downwards that is important you will see why later actually we'll see now because we have a sticky piston here with a redstone block and this is also why we had the glass here so we don't butt power this piston accidentally okay now we go to the fun part so we make a redstone torch tower over here so there's a block here one torch here a block another torch and a block here i'm going to quickly cover it up so it looks nice and this is for the pop-up piston as i said earlier we're going to place of course two redstone here so there's some redstone activating that lamp then we place a target block here uh i think you would get away uh, with a non-target block block which is just like a basic block but i place a target, target block here because i really quite like the target block so now we have a repeater facing like backwards here uh, from the target block into another block which has another torch tower with two torches so you place a block here a block on the side here this is where we place a redstone dust and a repeater this repeater needs to be set to three ticks um, and now we are basically finishing off with a block here you can fill in this gap and here we'll have two pistons like this a piston facing upwards and the block so that's basically uh, your uh, hidden entrance staircase done you, yeah you press the button and as you can see everything is covered up you press it again and it's retracted okay great so now i'm gonna quickly show you one of the hidden inputs that i would use here which is the redstone torch key okay so now we're going to the last part of the video which is showing you how to hook it up to a hidden input in this case it's going to be a redstone torch key and uh, ignore those torches i totally didn't spend another half an hour okay anyways uh, so how to do this we need to place an observer so we place an observer here we need to have a redstone repeater set to four ticks here and this will go into a tiny 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 uh pulse extender so we place two computers like so three redstone dust here after that uh, we need to place an obsidian block here because uh, if we wouldn't have an obsidian here it would take the block and ruin it the redstone here so we just take the redstone from here take it here and now it should work yes it does as you can see it takes a bit of time but suffice to say it works and you've got yourself a hidden staircase so guys i hope it, that you enjoyed this video uh, it took me quite a few tries because you know my game is bugged when i want to go full screen and i exit out to start the recording in obs i can't go into minecraft again so uh, it took me like five tries and I spent an hour just recording the video. So I hope you really do like it and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye! Oh god and it crashed again.